Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share the positions I'm in for the month of December going into January and how I plan on earning an extra $100,000 in the next 30 days using the methods I'm gonna be sharing in this video. My goal is to share everything I'm doing with my trading to help you understand how to grow your own account as well. I always wish that someone would share all this stuff and be transparent and show how they built their wealth. So what I wanna do is document everything I do so I can reflect on it and see what I learn from and also just share it all and so we can build a community and have everything very positive and just lift each other up while we all build each other, our portfolios together. So if you wanna build your portfolio through stock market investing, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one and let's dive right into the video. So what we see right now is I'm in Palantir, 6,000 shares. I've been averaging my cost basis through, with this one over time. I own 600 shares of Square. I own Tattooed Chef, 1,000 shares that I just purchased today as I'm riding the hype. And I'll go into details on that one. I own 1,300 shares of Tesla in this one account. This is my margin account. I have a TFSA and other accounts, but we're just gonna look at my margin account for today. Now, what you'll see is the percentages of I'm up um, and we're gonna break down everything before we go into it. So first thing that we see is Palantir, 6,000 shares, cost base of 2640. Now I've been building out this position over the past two weeks or so. Currently we have 158,000 US in it and we're flat, we're break even. I've been averaging down as the stock has been dipping. I got in at like $27 and I bought some more in the 25s and the 26s and that's where we're currently at. Now. I'm in this for a few reasons. One reason is I'm running calls, covered calls against this position, and I own Palantir on margin. Now, Palantir to me is a relatively safe company. I don't see this company losing 30, 40% of its value in the coming months. It's a cloud-based, service-based company that is getting closer to profitability and has been around for a long time. Another reason why I'm in it is because it's been founded in, by uh, Peter Thiel and Peter Thiel be, built PayPal with Elon Musk and others. So I've done a lot of research on, on Peter Thiel, Thiel and the way I invest or trade is I'm a big believer in investing in the leader of the companies. That's also why I'm in Square because of Jack Dorsey. He founded Twitter and I, I like him as a person and how he leads. Same thing with Tesla, Elon Musk. So. That's one of the biggest, that's a pro tip if you didn't know. I really go by the leader, who is the person behind the company because that's ultimately what's deciding where this company's gonna go. So always take a look at the leader and I've talked about other videos on how I analyze my growth companies. So I'll leave that uh, in the cards above if you wanna see how I analyze growth companies and how I choose growth stocks. That's a great one to look at. So Palantir. Now, it is has a very high implied volatility. And when it has a, a high implied volatility, you can get more money for the premiums when you sell covered calls. If you don't know what covered calls are, I suggest searching cover, covered calls explained. I'll give a very brief explanation. So I chose on Palantir, I chose the 29 strike expiring this Thursday, December 24th. And I could I could run 40 contracts because I owned 4,000 shares. I, I now own 6,000, but 40 contracts are against 4,000 of those shares. Now, how this works is I collect a premium. I collect some money because I am selling the right to purchase all of my shares at $29 per share. Now, you might be thinking, this doesn't make sense. Basically, the person who's buying these contracts, they believe that Palantir as a company, the stock will be above $29 by December 24th. So they purchase the contracts because they purchased the right to buy Palantir at $29 per share by the end of this week, December 24th, because they believe the stock will be much greater than 29. Now I put this trade on last week. So there's more time for it to be above that. But now as we're getting closer, we're realizing, hey, there's a very small likelihood that Palantir will be 29 or above coming this Thursday. So I collected premium, I collected $2,822 in US for selling the right to buy my shares at $29 per share. Well, the stock is 2640 right now not looking like it's gonna be there. So what's gonna happen is, I'm going to be collecting this $2,822 of premium and I'll keep my shares. 
Then what I can do is the next week, I can run another call. And that's what I just put on today. So that's why I'm explaining that. And what I just put on today now as well is, I put on 20 contracts for the other 2,000 shares because I own 6,000 total. 20 more contracts, again, choosing the same strike, expiring December 31st. So now today, what I said today was, hey, I'm gonna sell the right for you to buy my 2,000 shares of Palantir at $29 per share by next Friday, December 31st. Well, for that one, I collect another $1,568 in premium. Now what happens is if Palantir reaches $29 or above by next Friday, I'm forced to sell my 2,000 shares at $29 per share. Well, I'm okay with that because number one, this is, this is all on margin. So I don't want to hold this for a long time because I'm being charged 6% interest per year, which works out to be a half a percent interest per month on the amount I'm borrowing. So take in, I am being charged half a percent per month in interest to own those 2,000 shares of Palantir. Yet, if Palantir reaches $29 per share by next Friday, that's 10% above my cost basis. So I will be earning the premium plus 10% in gains from the stock going from 2640 to 29. 10% from 2640 to 29, that's 10%. And I would earn the 10% in gains if that happened. So now you're asking, where does this become a lose? How is this a bad thing? This seems like a no risk thing. The only risk is if Palantir reaches $32 by next Friday, I'm forced to sell my shares at 29. So I don't get that extra 10% on top as, if, as opposed to if I just held those shares and didn't run these call options. I hope you understand that. That is a long explanation. If you don't understand that, go watch, watch Selling Covered Calls. Let's dive into more. I also have the 220 strike on Square. So these are going to be exercised. I put these on about a week or two ago. So don't be alarmed. It shows I'm negative 9,100 on the trade. I'm only negative if I try to close this. What's gonna happen is next Friday, if Square, the company stock, stays above 220, then my 600 shares here will be sold at 220 a share. Well, I'm okay with that because again, Square is on margin for me. And I own 600 shares at $200 per share. So 220 is 10% above, which means I'll be forced to sell at a 10% profit. Well, 10% on my 120,000 is 12,000 US. So I'm making 12,000 US by holding Square for a few weeks. Plus the premium here, which is 3,000. So what we're looking at is myself having earning about 15,000 US because it's 3,000 on top of the 12,000 in profit for holding Square for a few weeks. I get, I guess, I hope we see how I'm making money on these trades now. So what's also down is the square is 238 right now. Now, if I sold square, I would be earning 22,800 in profit, but I can't sell square because I'm in these covered calls. And if I wanted to sell square, I'd have to close this for a 9,000 loss, which would be subtracting from my 22,000 gains, which I'm not gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to accept my 12,000 gains on the 600 shares plus the 3,000 in interest for selling the covered calls. Moving on, I just, just now today, I collected premiums for my other Tesla calls and I sold covered calls expiring this Thursday at the 710 strike, meaning I don't believe Tesla will be crossing $710 per share by the end of the week because the catalyst is over for the S&P 500 inclusion. It's included and we have some darkness we have some selling pressure in the market because there is fears over coronavirus, the new strain, and um, there's a little bit of FUD on Tesla. People are taking profits. So I don't personally believe we will see Tesla cross $700 per share this week. So because of that, I am risking, I'm, I'm co doing covered calls for seven contracts, which is 700 of my 1300 Tesla shares. And I'm collecting $2,349 in premium for a few days for just a few days, because again, I'm putting this on on Monday and the expiry is Thursday. So in a few days, I'm just collecting 2,300. What happens again, if Tesla reaches 710 or more by the end of this week, I'm going to be forced to sell 700 of those 1,300 shares at $710 per share. The reason why that's really shitty on my end is because I'll be taxed of this year, which means I'll have to pay those gains in March, 2021. I don't wanna do that. 
I am okay with taking some gains maybe early 2021 because I don't have to pay those gains till 2022. But if I take gains now in December, I'm gonna have to pay those in a few months and I do not want that to happen. So I'm quite confident that we won't see Tesla get to 710 or above this week. You know, who knows, maybe next week, if some FSD uh, catalyst comes out where that gets rolled out, we could see a boost, but there's already been such a huge run up. I personally don't see Tesla going up. I actually have greater confidence in Tesla selling off further and hovering around high 500s, low 600s for a while. That's just what I believe. I believe we will see Tesla hover around high 500s to low 600s. And if we do, I will be buying more in the high 500s or 550 would be ideal. Um, I don't see Tesla going into the 400s again, but uh, low 500s possible. Again, anything's possible, but for the near term, I think Tesla will be hovering around low 600s or high 500s. Last but not least, I opened another call position, cover call position for December 31st for the rest of my 600 shares on Tesla. So now I am also believing that I don't see Tesla being over $750 a share in one week by December 31st. And I'm collecting $2,795 in premium for selling that contract to someone else who does believe Tesla will be 750 or higher within a week. That's how this, this works. So I hope we now see all of my positions. What I'm seeing for the future is, you know, the next coming one to two weeks, this portfolio I have right now won't change very much. I may add things in the next one week. Again, I plan to keep these 1300 shares of Tesla and actually add more, buy more as I make gains with margin trading. So what we see on my screen is I have ne negative $269,000 in cash, which means I have $269,000 in US on margin. And that's basically all of Palantir and Square with some of Tattooed Chef. This is my margin trades. All of Tesla is what I own with my money from putting in money and gains. So this I do not want to touch. Everything else I'm okay with buying and selling. I have no emotional attachment to it. And as a trader or an investor, you don't really want to have an emotional attachment to any of these stocks. But I just see such a huge upside for Tesla in the next five to 10 years that I really do not want to sell any Tesla shares. So what I plan to do is use margin to do some short term trades, holding stocks for one, two, three, four weeks and doing some covered calls, some options trading to accelerate my gains and be able to buy more Tesla shares with those gains. That's basically my strategy for the next coming weeks. And I'll give you another update video in January of what I plan to do or what I'm looking to buy or sell. For now, this is my December update. If we take a look at my portfolio, we'll see that my current portfolio is sitting at 1.343 million. And at December 31st, 2019, this portfolio was at 186,000. So we're looking at 621% gains over the last 12 months. And in Canadian, we see I own 1.7 million in stocks. I have 334,000 in cash that it shows, but it's not cash, that's actually margin. That's how much I owe. And I'm charged 6% interest per year, which is half a percent interest per month. And I'm charged on the 15th of each month. And last month, I was actually charged $1,000 US for holding margin. And I made about 100,000 plus in profits from the margin trades. So that's a good ROI. However, it's highly risky and I don't recommend this whatsoever, but I'm just showing you what I'm personally doing and what trades I'm in so we can learn and potentially just see the thought process behind why I'm making these trades. So give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate the transparency. Thanks for following along and subscribe for more videos like this one. Leave a comment below what type of videos you'd like to see more of. Would you like to see more of stock picks or portfolio updates, more frequent updates. Leave it in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.